Welcome to the demonstration of crime mapping application. This application allows citizens to identify crime affected locations, analyze crime density for the selected location, and view the details of the crime. Application provides a facility to search the crime affected locations based on the address or use the drawing tools to identify the buffer area with different shape, color, and transparency. Facility to display the results in pie chart, bar graph, and tables are available. Results can be filtered based on the crime type and timeline. Let's take a look at how to go about the crime mapping application. Navigate the application by entering the appropriate URL. Main screen appears, displaying default map extent and various crime types at the bottom of the screen. By default, the map is displayed in the topology view. Map view can be changed from topology to imagery by clicking the appropriate option at the top right corner of the screen. The imagery view, the hybrid view and go back to the topology view. Application controls are available at the top left corner of the screen. Tap search to search the crime occurrences, result to display the result of the crime occurrences, help provides the online help and many icons, it's a toggle button to minimize or maximize the icons. Basic map navigation tools are available at the bottom left corner of the screen. Zoom in and zoom out to zoom in and out of the map, moving the map to the north, south, west and east directions, initial extent and full extent map. Various crime type options are available at the bottom left corner of the screen. The open slider option at the bottom of the screen provides the ability to expand the time slider. The time slider panel provides the ability to select the time period and list the crime icons and the number of crime occurred for a selected period of time. Now let's see how to identify crime affected locations using crime mapping application. Select the desired crime type at the bottom of the screen. By default, all the options are selected. You can uncheck the option you do not wish to view. Expand the time slider option and adjust the time slider by dragging it to the desired option. And then click search icon at the top left corner of the screen. You see that a search pop-up appears, providing the facility to search the desired location by address or the user defined location. My default search by address option is enabled. Enter the desired address and tap search to search the address. See that the map extent refreshes to display the specified address and the selected crime options. Now we will see how to search by user defined area. Tap the icon user defined area in the search panel. See that the search panel refreshes providing the options to define the area, select the desired tool to draw the area. Let's select the first option. Tap the color tab to select the desired color. Pick a desired color. Close the color tab. Adjust the alpha slider to set the transparency. Draw the buffer area on the map. Enter the region name. Click OK to confirm. The defined buffer area is listed in the search panel and highlighted on the map. Similarly, we can define multiple buffer areas and retrieve them later by selecting the desired area from the search panel. Now let's see how to view the details of the crime. Two options are available to view the details. You can click the crime icon on the map or in the time slider panel. First, let's click the crime icon on the map. We see that the icon expands providing the crime type at the top and the details of the crime location and the reported date. Click close to close the panel. Now you can click the crime type in the time slider panel. The time slider pr panel provides the crime type icons and the number indicating the number of crimes occurred for the crime type. Let's expand. We see that the icon expands providing the option to select the desired crime type. 
select the desired icon and the map refreshes providing the details of the selected crime type on the map. The close to close the crime type. If multiple crimes have occurred then the icon provides a number indicating the number of crime types occurred for the at the typical location. If multiple crimes have occurred at a particular location then the icon provides the number of crime types occurred for the desired location. Over the mouse and the map provides the crime type details. Select the desired icon and the map refreshes providing the details of the crime. Now let's see how to display the results of the crime affected locations. You can create a crime mapping buffer area or select the predefined buffer area in the search panel and click results icon at the top left corner of the screen. We see that results panel appears displaying the results of the selected crime buffer area. By default, a pie chart view appears providing the detailed view of the crime. You can select the desired result options, tap bar chart icon to display the result in the bar chart view, tap the table icon to view a tabular representation to close, close the results panel. This brings us to an end of this demonstration. Thank you for viewing this demonstration.